Well, it's almost time for the Douglas Soapbox Race. With me is Elliot Moore, who's the organiser. And you had to remind me, actually, I didn't realise it hadn't taken place last year. No, no, it's had a, a year off last year, so. Because it's quite a crazy thing for you to organise, right? Yeah, it takes a, it takes a bit of work, yeah. So, <laughs> you took the year off, you're back. We're back, we're... That's the main thing. Regenerated, we're ready to go, <laughs> got the enthusiasm. Well, we've got some pictures here from, I don't know, whatever year it was. I was didn't get much, but it, it was great atmosphere. Is it, is it the same sort of course as before? Yeah, similar course. This year, though, we've got an even bigger start ramp. So, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Each year, something's got to improve. So, we've got a bigger start ramp, which now means we'll have higher speeds at the top of the course. So, we're in the process of building a bigger ramp outside Bar George. So... <laughs> More thrills, more spills outside Bar George. Then the rest of the course is going to be pretty similar. Big jump off Apple Street, that's always a crowd pleaser. Tight chicane. Tweaking the jump at the bottom just before the, the tight right hand corner. You've had a good thing about this, haven't you? To, to, to up the ante. Because it is about the fun, you say spills. Yeah. Actually. But I mean, people have got these lovely devices, and then they go and jump in the air and they come down, and sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. Yeah. But obviously, health and safety as well, it's got to be involved. It's, it's oh, a big task, yeah. right? Yeah, there's, there's quite a bit of uh, work goes into the risk assessment and keeping everybody safe, to be fair. Um, so yeah, effectively we've got crowd barriers, we've got rectus cell barriers, the Southern 100 let us use their rectus cell barriers, um, hay bales as well, so when the cart crashes, not if, when a cart crashes, <laughs> um, the crowd are protected and then the racers themselves, they have to have protection, full face helmet, uh, padded jacket, gloves. Wow. They, they can't just go down shorts and t-shirt and hope for the best. <laughs> now it's not that long till it's on. Is it too late to enter or? No, it's not too late oh, to right. enter. And for those with a bit of know-how, it's not too late to build one either. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken, it normally takes from start to finish about a weekend. That's from nothing to a fully finished painted soapbox. <laughs> You've got a website I'm sure gives all the details. Yeah, it's um, douglassoapbox.com. And that will give you the, all the information you need there. It's, everything's on there. You can register. And I mean, it's a free, and also it's a free event for people to watch, isn't it? I mean, yeah. And it, you've got your sponsors and all that sort of thing. And it raises a bit of money, does it? At the yeah. Same time? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, Micro gaming. They they sponsor the event. They basically they give me a budget to put the event on. Um, and then there is an entry fee for for the competitors. That entry fee, the 100% of that entry fee goes to the Hyperbaric Chamber. Oh, great. And then we're going to have um, a little crowd collection, a little bucket going up the course in between the race. Do you need any more marshals and people? Because like, every time I interview you on the night, <laughs> day, it's like pretty crazy going <laughs> on. It is yeah. crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I never know what's going on on the <laughs> night. <laughs> but yeah, again, if you go to douglassoapbox.com, you can register as a marshal. Uh, the more marshals, the better, to be honest. Just remind us that it's on Saturday the... Saturday, 1st of September. What time? The race starts at six o'clock, racing between six and nine o'clock-ish. <laughs> it is great fun. Give, give or take a crash or two. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, with the marshals, we need volunteers to help set the course up. So we start setting up from, about realistically, people start turning up about 12 o'clock. The roads close from two or three o'clock. Mm -hmm and it's just all go up until six o'clock and then it's race time and then we need a crew to help dismantle as well. Is it weather dependent? Will you, will you no. Here we go. No, as, uh, as you'll recall, uh, 2016 it was, it was wet. Yes, <laughs> it yeah. was very wet. Luckily the rain had stopped by the, um, the start of the racing but that meant for uh, tricky conditions, should we say, on the, on the course, a uh, wet course meant the bottom corner was interesting okay well congratulations Elliot, for bringing it back so i know it's so much work and, I, mm. and a lot goes into it and it's one of those events up there with like tin bars and everything else now you have to go and see it <laughs> yeah well you, funny you mentioned the, the tin bats tin bats are on the same day oh so you'd think there'd be a bit of com conflict there it's uh there three o'clock till six o'clock where six o'clock till so nine o'clock perfect go, go to both events yeah go down to the tin bats get on the um the train come up to douglas walk over to the soapbox fantastic <laughs>